Welcome everybody to my first roster update prediction video of MLB The Show 19. So if you're unaware, MLB The Show does roster updates throughout the regular season. The first one is going to be this Friday, the 19th, and after that it'll probably be every two weeks after that. And basically they take the live series cards, they analyze how everybody's playing, and they give them upgrades or downgrades based on their real life performance so that Diamond Dynasty cards match the real MLB. So in this video I'm going to tell you guys all of about who I think is going to be upgraded, who I think is going gold to diamond, silver to gold, blah, blah, blah. And I encourage you guys to leave your comments because there's probably going to be somebody I don't talk about in this video who you feel should be going up or down. So make sure to leave it down in the comments so other people can see it and they want to get some ideas down there as well. But there's a couple things you guys got to understand before we jump straight into the predictions. Number one, the cards are not based off a one year cycle. San Diego Studios, their live series cards are based off a three year cycle. So a guy like Blake Snell. He's an 83 overall gold right now. A lot of people were upset at the fact that he wasn't a diamond to start the year. And yeah, he had an amazing 2018 season, but 2017, he had an ERA over four and 2016, he wasn't that great either. So really only one of the last three seasons, he was really good. So keep that in mind when you're talking about predictions and upgrades and all that stuff, because it's not just based on a one year thing. It's based on a three year cycle. So now talking about my own personal predictions, a couple things you guys got to keep in mind. Number one, I only like to talk about guys who are jumping from one tier to the next. So bronze to silver, silver to gold, gold to diamond. A guy like Christian Yelich is probably going to get a hitting upgrade to his card, but he's already a diamond, so I'm not really going to talk about him. Another thing, I'm only going to be discussing upgrades. I don't really like going into downgrades. I just like talking about guys who are going up. And last but not least, these are just my predictions. These are not guarantees. So if you decide to invest in a player that I talk about in this video and he doesn't end up going gold or whatever, not really my problem. Sorry, man, you chose to spend the stubs. So don't be crying at me if a guy doesn't go diamond. But anyway, with all that being said, I think we can go ahead and get started into the predictions. We're gonna get it going with bronze to silver. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it off with guys that I think have like a chance at going silver. Uh, and if they're not going silver this week, just guys to kind of keep your eye on for the next couple weeks. So Matt Shoemaker, I think he's got a pretty good uh, little start to the season. He's got like a 1.75 ERA in a few starts, so he's looking good over there in Toronto. We'll see how he continues to play and see if he's got enough to get up to a 75. His teammate Marcus Stroman is also off to a little bit of a better start this year. He wasn't that good last year, but 2017 he was pretty solid, and he is off to a strong start here in 2019, so we'll see how he continues to pitch. Maybe a little hits in K's upgrade could get him up to a 75. This guy right here, Shane Green, is definitely a guy you want to keep your eye on. He's off to a very strong start for for the Detroit Tigers so far. I think he's got eight innings pitched. He hasn't even allowed a run out of the bullpen. He is looking really strong. He's a 69 overall bronze right now. It's a six overall jump to get to a 75. If he keeps pitching the way he's pitching, he's got a good shot at getting to a silver here pretty soon. Freddie Galvis also off to a good start this year. Uh, he's already got the fielding that he needs to pretty much get him up to a silver over at the shortstop position. He just needs a little bit of a hitting upgrade and he's getting a lot of base hits. He's doing a lot for the Toronto Blue Jays right now so you know a hitting upgrade could be in this guy's future and that could boost him up to a 75. Yoan Mankata third baseman for the Chicago White Sox now Yoan Mankata is off to a very strong hitting start uh, the only thing is that his fielding isn't that great over at third base and the fielding would be a little bit better if he was actually a primary position at second base his overall would be a little bit higher so I think the fact that he's now a third base primary position is kind of holding him back so he's going to need to continue to produce over at third base when it comes to his hitting numbers and if he continues to do what he's doing right now he's got a strong chance of getting back up to a silver because I'm pretty sure he was a silver last year so Mankata another guy with a good shot Trey Mancini from the Baltimore Orioles another guy who's off to a pretty good start here in 2019 the thing about Trey Mancini uh, and kind of if I'm unsure if he's going to get to a silver this week is I think he does deserve a hitting upgrade I just don't know if the hitting upgrade is going to be enough to bring him up four overall to get to a 75 because I don't think he's getting a field or a speed upgrade it's gonna be all with the bat so we'll see if San Diego Studios decides to give him a, uh, a hitting upgrade if they give him enough he could get to a 75 but he's up 11 against righties right now and that only brings him up to a 74 so he's gonna need a, a little bit of a good amount 
Michael Franco from the Philadelphia Phillies having a really good season hitting in that eight hole in that lineup. Pretty sure he's already got five home runs. All five of those home runs have come against right-handed pitching. So I do think he could get a slight little upgrade in his power against righties. But similar to Trey Mancini, I don't know if that little bit of an upgrade is going to give him enough to get to a 75. I mean, he's only... Uh, up two against lefties on the day and he's up to a 74 with inside edge so you know he shouldn't need that much but i think if you give him a little bit he could probably get up to a 75 so we'll see if they give him a little bit of a power boost and the last guy on my little unsure maybe he gets their list is gonna be tim anderson he's off to a very very hot start hitting like i think over 400 still so hopefully he continues to hit that well but last year he wasn't that great so it may just be a strong start to the season we'll see how it goes for another couple weeks I could see San Diego Studios being like, you know, he's, he's hitting good right now, but we'll see how he goes. Um, the only thing is that the White Sox don't have a ton of silvers, so I could see them being maybe a little bit more lenient and trying to, you know, make that collection a little bit more valuable, but I don't know. I would say Tim Anderson gets to maybe like a 74. Okay, so now the first guy that I do think is going to go silver is going to be Josh Bell. He's hitting 314 on the season with a 390 on base percentage, a 627 slugging, and an OPS over a thousand right now he's got three home runs 12 rbis five doubles and 16 total hits so literally half of his hits right now are extra base hits in the last two weeks he's hitting 341 with a 413 on base a 732 slugging and an ops well over 1100 and he finished the last month of the season in 2018 with a 301 average and a 961 ops so i do think he deserves a little bit of a hitting upgrade and he only needs a little bit in order to get him up to a 70 because he's a first baseman where defense isn't that big of a deal in terms of how it affects the overall so I think he's going to get a little bit of a hitting boost and I do think Josh Bell is going to make silver in this first roster update another guy that I do think can make silver in this update is going to be Adam Frazier another guy from the Pittsburgh Pirates he's hitting 296 with a 377 on base percentage a 426 slugging and an 803 OPS he's got a home run on the season with four doubles and in uh, last season he had 10 10 home runs and 23 doubles so I think he deserves a little bit a little bit of a power upgrade and if you look at you know the inside edge he needs a plus eight against lefties in order to get him up one to a 75 but I think he could also get a little bit of a defensive upgrade because he's been a pretty solid fielder over for the Pirates at second base so with a little bit of a hitting upgrade and a little bit of a fielding upgrade I think Adam Frazier gets up to a silver Jorge Polanco from the Minnesota Twins having a really good season right now he's hitting 420 with a 464 on base percentage, a 720 slugging, and an OPS almost at 1200 right now. He's got two home runs, three doubles, and three triples already on the season. So that's eight extra base hits in 21 total hits that he's gotten on the season. So his power, I think, deserves a little bit of an upgrade, especially against righties. He's got lower power in the game against right-handed pitching uh, versus his left-handed pitching. So I think he gets a power upgrade against righties and maybe a bit of a contact upgrade as well. I think he could have enough to get him up there to a 75. And last but not least, the final bronze that I have to talk about in this video, Domingo Santana. I think he has a very good chance of getting silver. I would almost say lock it in. He's hitting 354 on the season with a 420 on base, a 557 slugging, and a 977 OPS. He's got four home runs this year, and he only had five all of last year. And then in 2018, I think he had like 30 or something like that. So 2018 was kind of a weird year for him, but he looks to be back towards his old hitting self. Uh, he's already got 24 runs batted in on the season, and he finished last season in 2018 with a 421 average and a four a 1400 OPS in that last month so he ended the last season strong he's starting off this season really strong I think Domingo Santana gets a little bit of a hitting upgrade specifically a power upgrade and I think he gets up to a silver I think this one is pretty easy for me okay so that's bronze to silver and now silver to gold this is actually where I think you can make the most amount of stubs in roster updates if you're gonna be investing silver to gold for me is the best way to make stubs because you don't have to spend a ton to invest in the cards you want 
and then you get a good return out of it when the guy actually does end up going gold so here we go we're gonna start it off with guys that i think have a chance but i'm not totally sure if they're gonna get there yet wilson Contreras off to a very very good start here in 2019 he's hitting 341 with a 471 on base percentage an 829 slugging and an ops of exactly 1300 right now he's already got six home runs on the season he had a total of 10 last year so he's already over half of his home run count last year in the first like three weeks of the season so the power seems to be back for him he's got 12 rbi he's got eight walks on the season already and he's got two doubles to go along with that so he's hitting the ball so much better this year than he was last year so i think hopefully if he continues it for another two weeks i think he can probably get up there to gold dj lemayhew of the new york yankees is also off to a very strong start he had a little bit of an off year last year hitting only 276 in the past three years before that he was over 300 uh in one of the seasons i think it was 2016 he won a batting title so you know this guy's a very very good hitter very good contact hitter this year he's already hitting 396 with a 455 on base and a 955 ops uh he doesn't have any home runs yet but he does have five doubles and he had 15 home runs last year say whatever you want about the Coors field effect i think he could get a slight little upgrade to his power and uh, maybe a little bit of an upgrade to his contact against righties he's got a good shot i mean he's got plus nine against lefties and that brings him up to an 80 so dj lemayhew i think is close to getting back to a gold elvis andrus having a really really good start to the season if you look at what his card is showing he only needs a plus seven against righties to go up all the way to an 81 so not just a borderline 80 he'd be over that threshold so he really doesn't need too much so far this season he's hitting the hell out of the ball 397 average 415 on base 635 slugging and an ops over a thousand he's already got three home runs on the season with four doubles and a triple so that's what eight extra base hits already on the season he deserves a little bit of a power upgrade so i could see sds hitting him with the power and possibly getting him up there to an 80. jose alvarado of the tampa bay rays is the next guy we're going to talk about he's a 78 overall silver in the game right now uh he's playing plus 11 against or a plus 11 to his hits and k's uh, per nine that brings him up to an 83 that's closer to a diamond than it is a borderline gold so he could have a shot at going up a lot he's been really good in the past three years he hasn't allowed a single run so far in this season in uh, eight or seven total innings pitched he's got four saves already last year he had a 2.39 era in 64 innings he's already struck out 13 batters in the seven innings that he's pitched uh he's given up four hits so i don't think anything's going to be changing with the hits per nine but i think the k's per nine have a chance of going up and you know maybe like five or six to the k's per nine he could get up to an 80, possibly an 81. Jose Alvarado might be a good investment. Another decent investment, I would say, is Jose Barrios, another Jose, another pitcher. This guy is going to be, obviously, from the Minnesota Twins. He's off to a very good start in 2019 with a 2.30 ERA. He's already got 27 innings pitched on the season with 28 strikeouts, only five walks allowed. He's not giving up a ton of hits. His whip right now is underneath .75, so he's really doing a pretty good job at keeping base runners off and uh, not allowing a ton of runs here because he's only got a 2.3 ERA like I said. I could definitely see him getting a hits per nine upgrade. I could definitely see him getting uh, maybe a walks per nine upgrade and that might be enough to get him up to a gold. I mean he's only one point short so it might be a pretty safe investment to talk about Jose Barrios. Of course a fun one that everybody wants to talk about Chris Davis. Chris Davis should be gold. I don't think he should and this isn't my bias of me not liking the Oakland days because I like Chris Davis a lot but he plays exactly to what his card is really high power he's probably not going to get a power boost because we all know what he does he hits the same average every year which is 247 pretty much represents that on the, the contact level he's not a good fielder I don't think Chris Davis is going gold he's he plays exactly to what his card looks like one guy that I have a lot of confidence in so far to go gold is going to be Herman Marquez from the Colorado Rockies uh, he's starting off the season with a 2.0 ERA in 27 innings he's got 25 strikeouts to only six walks so far he had a complete game shutout on Monday against the Giants in 2018 he had a 3.7 Seven, seven ERA overall but in the last two months of the season his ERA was underneath 2.40 in both of those months so he finished off the last season extremely well especially with the Rockies making a playoff push and now he's starting off this season really well he definitely deserves a hits per nine upgrade possibly a K's per nine upgrade as well I think Marquez has enough to get up to an 80 I think we see him get there this week all right 
Now the fun one, gold to diamond. Who do I think is going diamond this week? Oh, Bellinger, Snell, oh, Bauer. All right, let me start it off by talking about Matt Chapman. I don't think Matt Chapman is going diamond this week, but he's already got the fielding that he needs, obviously. He just needs to pick it up a little bit at the plate, and he's already hitting like 290 this season, so if he continues to hit the ball well, we might see him become diamond around June or maybe July. So keep an update or keep an eye on uh, Matt Chapman. We got to talk about him. Cody Bellinger, guys. A lot of people are really, really invested in Cody Bellinger thinking he's going to go diamond. And uh, I do think he does have a strong chance of going diamond. I'm just going to play it on more of the reserve side and say, no, I don't think he goes diamond. I think he probably goes up to around an 84, and there's reasons why. Number one, obviously in 2017, he won the Rookie of the Year. He had a ton of home runs. He had like 267. He had a really, really good year. Last year, he wasn't as good. I don't know if you consider it a sophomore slump, but he wasn't as good as he was in 2017. 2019, though, he's coming out of the gate strong, having a really good start. He's probably going to get a position change because he's already played 15 games for the Dodgers in right field so he's listed as a first baseman so I'm not totally sure what that position change is going to mean for his card I don't know if that's going to bring his overall up or down and then also last night he got hit in the knee with a pitch and there's some swelling and he's probably going to be out for a couple days to just kind of let that get back to 100% so with those factors with that you know him sitting out for a few days I don't know if maybe they're going to wait another two weeks to see how that injury affects him if it has any effect um um, the you know the position change there's just a lot of variables with Cody Bellinger right now that with an attribute upgrade I don't know where he's gonna end up so I'm gonna say no on Cody Bellinger this week I do think he's getting upgraded but maybe not all the way to an 85. One guy that I do think should be a diamond in this first update is going to be Ronald Acuna Jr. Obviously, Acuna, great hitter in the game. Everybody uses him. He's a gold. He's insanely good. I don't really think he's going to get any hitting upgrades yet. I think the way he's going to get diamond is by upgrading that fielding. 62 fielding with 50 arm strength. He's, he's, he's a liability out there in this game. But I think they need to give him that fielding upgrade because he's got a positive defensive war this year. I don't know what fielding metrics they use to make these attributes as far as fielding, but I think he's playing the field pretty well for them right now. And obviously with the hitting, he's hitting 302. He's already got five home runs, uh, 13 RBIs. Last year, he had a 917 OPS on the season. Acuna is a hitter. Everybody knows that. But SDS is kind of doing him dirty on his fielding. So I hope he gets a little bit of a fielding upgrade because I think Acuna should be diamond. Here's a guy that I think not a lot of people are talking about that I think is a pretty good diamond investment right now. Lorenzo Cain. He had a really good season last year in 2018 and in 2017, I'm sorry, 2019, this year he's off to a really strong start. I mean, he's hitting 294 with a 364 on base, a 412 slugging and a 775 OPS. Uh, I think he needs a little bit, a little bit of a power boost. Last year he had 24 extra base hits and in 2017 he had 32, so he's still hitting the ball with some pretty good pop a little bit. Even if it's not home runs, he's still putting the ball in the gap and getting doubles and triples and things along those lines so I think Lorenzo Kane should get upgraded will he make a diamond this week I, I think it's possible honestly but I don't know he's got plus 12s against righties on the day that brings him up three overall so you know he just needs a little bit of a boost to his power I think he could get there I think Lorenzo Kane might be a sleeper pick another guy that a lot of people have a lot of faith in to go diamond is gonna be Trevor Bauer uh, he had a really good 2018 season finished sixth place in the uh, Cy Young voting in the American League Pretty much picking up where he left off in 2018 here in 2019. Uh, he's already got a 2.05 ERA, really strong there. 26.1 innings pitched, 32 strikeouts already. He's got 11 walks, though, so the walks are a little bit high for my liking at the moment. He's not allowing a ton of hits. I think he definitely gets a hits per nine upgrade. And will that be enough to get him a diamond? I could definitely see it. I think Trevor Bauer has a good chance of going 85. And last but not least, of course, Blake Snell. We talked about him earlier in the video. Is this the week where he gets his diamond upgrade? I'm going to say no. And there's a reason for that. Not because of his performance. Obviously, he came out opening day. He got a little roughed up, right? He allowed like three home runs, like five earned runs that game, whatever. He got a little roughed up that game, right? But the three starts after that, back to where he left off. Amazing. One earned run in the past three games total. He's, just, he's, he's locked down again. 25 innings pitched, 36 strikeouts, only four walks allowed. Like the case per nine and the walks per nine, I think should go up a little bit. The only thing is that he was just put on the 10 day injured list. 
and I don't know if San Diego Studios is going to upgrade to him, upgrade him to a diamond while he's on that injured list. Um, you know, he may only miss one start or something like that, but give it another two weeks. If he comes back and pitches the next start just as good, I think he definitely gets it by then. I just am not sure if SDS is going to be like giving him the diamond when he's going to be on the injured list. That's the only thing. Otherwise, 100% Blake Snell, I think, should be diamond. Well, that was uh, a lot of talking. <laughs> that was a long first roster update prediction video. So like I said, down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Do you disagree with any of my picks? Do you think that I missed somebody? Leave all that good stuff down there so everybody can talk about it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing roster update predictions every roster update. So make sure you guys are tuning in here. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.